Okay, I'm set up here uh, ready to cut uh, my fourth tooth on my helical gear using my new uh, helical gear cutter. Um, so I will uh, go ahead and uh, fire up the lathe and start it going. If you watch the spindle that I'm turning by hand, which you won't be able to see through here, um, as it uh, rotates towards you, you'll see that it also moves to the left. So here goes the next tooth. pan the candle back so you can see more of what's going on here. I'm going to uh, change the detent pin by counting up uh, four holes. So we'll pull it out here. Rotate it around so that it engages the hole. <clears throat> then once again, I'll cut the next two. You notice I'm going very slow because I don't want the cutter to. Uh, spin the uh, screw loose that holds the blank onto the spindle. You'll notice also the cutter is cutting into the cut, that is to say the spindle is spinning the blank into the cutting edge, so there's no tendency for the um, cutter to um, grab the work and spin it, or I should say a lot less tendency. And even though I have a spring on there, I hold this firmly against the blank while I uh, move the uh, cutter to the next tooth. And we'll cut the last tooth. And there it is, what I believe to be uh, pretty nearly a perfect uh, helical gear.